Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really happy you're, each and every one of you is here today. Welcome, welcome. I want to say hello and welcome to my brand new subscribers. I'm so super happy you're here. You're all very, very important to me. And hugs and kisses and lots of love to all of my continuing following subscriber. You guys mean the world to me. And so do all of your comments and your prayers and your kind words and your good thoughts. All of it is super important. And I really mean those things. For those of you who are new, if you comment on a video, I will respond to your comment. Sometimes it's just a thank you. But if you want to have a conversation, I will. Because each of those conversations is very important to me. And I feel like many of us are building good relationship. I'm, we're becoming friends. I actually, when I say my friend or my sweet friend, I truly mean that. You are my friend. So, all right, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, woo, choked there. Got all excited. So, anyhow, we're going to have a fun little play today in the studio. Um, I was browsing through Instagram and Pinterest and I came up with a lovely, I found a lovely, beautiful, um, journal page and what they are is there to build our stash for journal pages. You have a, let's say you have a page in your journal, if I can find a journal and you want to cover that page. Okay. So you're thinking, well, I don't really like what's on this page, so I want to cover it up or it's blank. So what you would do is you would put this, you would glue this on and your page is done. So what I want to do is build myself a stash of these page fillers. So maybe that's what I'm going to call them. So I thought maybe you might want to play along with me, get out some, some goodies. You'll need some book page, digitals, or scrapbook paper, or magazine pages, whatever you want to use. Um, some text of some kind. Um, I'm using my... 1901 letters. You can find these in a jewel design, which is our shop. There's a digital for the 1901 letters, and that allows you to, it's a ledger or letters, I'm not sure which, uh, gives you some writing. Um, we're going to need that, and some glue, of course, and maybe some backing paper, and your, you know, your books to cover your book pages with, because you may not want to look at whatever is on the back of that, or you may just glue it right down. It kind of just depends if you want to use this as a um, a tuck in you want to tuck it in or if you want to just take a paper clip you know not one this big but it's what I have in front of me you know paper clip it onto a page or you know however you want to do it so that is what we're going to be working on today um, they're really fun they're simple they're lovely to work with now here I did some embossing uh, paste on um, some some of my word pages some of my ledger letters that I have in my shop I was just talking about. But you could put anything down there. You could stencil it. You could put just wallpaper, paste, whatever you want to put on there. So anyway, this is what we're going to be working on. And I thought maybe we could just come along and have a little chat and just, you know, relax. I'm still in the middle of our project. And... Um, so we have finished the flooring and the baseboard in the um, the uh, front room and dining room and a hallway into the um, laundry room. They've started on the laundry room. We have finished the uh, walk-in, really big walk-in uh, linen storage um, pantry. So that's done. It's painted. It's got the flooring. It's got all the baseboard we're putting the shelves back in and I've started unpacking my living room and my dining room because as I told you I have a leak in my garage so and I need the boxes so you know it's one of those things where I just have to unpack as we go we're so we're doing it room by room we finish a room we go into the next room you know put that back together pack a room finish a room put it back together so when we finish the floors the house will be all back together so anyway uh that's enough of that complicated mess so that's what I've been doing. I have broken off almost half my nails. I'm just like a mess. So excuse my hands, all this packing and unpacking and cleaning. Oh, and yeah, and then I'm cleaning everything that's getting put back out, like all my crystal and everything is getting cleaned. So, um, you know, my poor hands are not happy with me from Windex and uh, everything else I'm using to polish, to polish my furniture and, you know, all that good stuff. So 
Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and ink everything. I have my book page. I already cut it down because, uh, as you saw, a good size page for me, based on the journals I make, is about five and a quarter by eight and three, uh, excuse me, seven, five and a quarter by seven and three quarters fits my journaling pages pretty well um, because generally it's mine are five and a half by eight. So as you can see, that covers the page pretty good. It really does. I could make it a little taller if I want, but why? That covers the page plenty well. So it'll give me some lovely journal pages, um, you know, so that works. So I cut these down because they were a little bit bigger. I shouldn't say I cut them down, I ripped them down. I ripped everything. I ripped all the paper so I could get that nice yummy edge that I want without having to create it in any other form. So I'm gonna do it on both sides because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna choose is the front or the back. Okay. Oh, ugh. I'm gonna have a thumb full of ink there. I think we'll do one at a time or maybe we'll do them together, I don't know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue down the words. I think that's the most important part because we wanna get it underneath. Now I just saw ideas. There are no instructions, no video or anything like that. I just came across some beautiful images and thought, oh, I'm gonna make my version, okay? So that's where this came from. As far as I know, unless there's one out there, it's not my idea, but I'm doing my version of a inspiration that I saw. I saw, I was looking at like journal pages, inspiration and um, journaling cards and you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna rip this one down too while I'm at it. I'm getting pretty good at it with this ruler, not my tear ruler. I hate that blue tear ruler. <laughs> We have a love-hate relationship. The struggle is real. All right, now, you can use whatever glue you want, glue stick, you can use uh, Fabri-Tac, you can use uh, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna just go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac. I like it because I can move things around and I think that that's gonna be the easiest. You know what, guys, just dawned on me, I better check to make sure I'm filming and I'm in frame. And, oh, yes, I am. Okay, great. Thought I should do that early on. <laughs> just in case I messed up, right? You wouldn't know it if I messed up because you would just never see this, but I know it. Just whether I need to back up and say, oh, oh, guys, I already started this. Sorry, here we go. <laughs> So how are all of you? I hope you are well. A number of my friends have COVID right now. Oh, I feel so bad. And their spouses and their friends and oh boy, everybody's getting it. If you're all well and safe. I'm thinking about each and every one of you. Praying that you stay healthy. Darn things going around again. Oop, ugh. I just glued my hand. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm wearing my my Gail shirt today, one of her artwear, Gail's artwear, one of my favorite shirts. I love this one. It's all pink and lacy and so beautiful. Crazy about it. So super comfortable. It's like silky and oh, I just love it. So long on me, I can wear it as a dress. Literally, I can wear it as a dress. I am so short. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I am vertically challenged. Okay. I've been told I need to say that. I am vertically challenged, and that's a fact. <laughs> My husband likes it that way. Alrighty, so we're going to use our little glue spreader. You can use any kind of old card or, um, yeah, anything you got. There's an old credit card. I use a, a gift card, you know, whatever you got, and it helps. Or you can use a bone folder or one of these handy-dandy Teflon holders. Oh. Teflon things to, I like this because it really makes the paper adhere itself, what you're doing. Oh, lovely. Isn't that pretty? Now, i got to come up with something on the bottom. So this time, I think I may use my, um, some of my paper here.
Mmm, yummy. I think I'm going to use some of my new, um, this new folder I showed you guys. A lot of you went out and got it right away, but I, from what I understand, she sold out, thanks to me. So, oh, 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 I grabbed that in a bad place. It's very, this was baking paper that was in the oven with a pie. And, you know, the pie didn't boil over anything. So it stayed absolutely clean. But it got, it was a yummy color. My husband says, honey, do you want this? And I'm like, do I want this? What? Who are you talking to? What? Now you could make a pocket out of this. Or you can just glue it on and make it pretty. Now the first one, I'll make a back up here. I did make this a pocket. I did. I made, I made a pretty little tag. And this is what it looks like. And I made a, um, a little, you know, dangle. So I don't know if I want to make a pocket, I'm going to have to put paper down first. I just realized I'm gonna have to glue that to something because it is way, way too delicate. So I probably have a scrap of some, uh, what have I got? A scrap of something. I'm sure I do have something. I have all this paper in here. Let's see. What do I have? Sorry, I'm digging. I'm rummaging. It doesn't have to be super strong, but I do feel like it needs to be on something because I just feel like it may not make it if I um, don't put it on something. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Mm, I'm really taking a chance. If I try to rip this, what's going to happen? Oh boy, you guys, cross your fingers, your toes, your eyes, <laughs> your arms, whatever. Okay, hopefully I didn't just cut that too short. I mean, rip it too short. Okay, it looks okay. All right, I'm going to ink this one first. Oh, I put a new dauber on the end. I mean, a new foamy on my dauber. Okay, now I did have a question in my last video. Someone asked me, where do I get my daubers? Because they're very substantial looking compared to what they've seen out there. These come from Shell and Clint on the Ramblin' Crafter. They are at an Etsy. Clint hand makes these. There are no two alike. This is this one here is cedar and it was custom made for me as a special gift. So you will not find one like this. Um, this is another one that uh, Clint made for me. And um, then I have this one too. So as you can see, they're all different colors and different styles and they're really, really pretty. So no two will ever be alike. So don't expect to get one that looks like mine because one, it's custom and two, um, he's an artist and, and it comes, whatever the wood creates is what you get, you know? So, but if you don't see them in the shop, please, please uh, send them a message and say, hey, do you have any of your lovely wood daubers? Lorette sent us over. Please let them know I sent you. So they know I'm thinking of them. I don't know. Uh, I know Clint was due to have some kind of surgery. So I don't know when that was going to happen. Or how he's doing. So, you know, I hopefully they're still making them. I, I honestly haven't had time to go over to the shop. I apologize. Normally I'll check a shop before I recommend it. If I can. Um... But I, as you know, guys, you know, life is crazy for me right now. And there is just no way I can, I can do that at the moment. So I won't, but go over and, and see if they have them, if they're even making them anymore. I hope they are for your sake, because these are fabulous, especially if you have arthritis or your, you know, your hands bother you or your hands get really tired. They're wonderful. I could ink all day and have no problems at all. And, you know, these are the regular Tim Holtz ones. And I love these too. Don't get me wrong. I do use them. But after a while, some, if I'm doing very much inking, my hand will cramp a little bit. This one, not at all. Yeah, I have quite a few of those. I have three or four of those. And then I bought some for my daughter uh, because she has arthritis as well. So it was like a great gift. I've given them as gifts to friends. So highly, highly recommend it. That does not want to stay glued, you guys. Let me try this again. Oh, actually, I don't think I got any glue on that at all. Well, how'd I miss that? Goofball. All right, let me get some more ink on here. 
So what happens when you get a new dauber out? You, I'm just lightly inking this paper. I don't know if it'll take any because it is baking paper. It's supposed to be resistant. It's got a sealant on it. But boy, did it make a nice, crunchy, beautiful color. Look at that color. Isn't that yummy? Okay, so that's going to be our little pocket. Let me get this. I'm going to go right around the edge, but you know what? I'm not going to do it with this one. It's too wide. I don't get a good bead. I'm going to switch over to my art glitter glue, which is my favorite glue of choice. Although, honestly, lately I've been using almost exclusively Fabri-Tac because I've been doing so much lace work, um, fabric work, that I just... This does work on it, but it takes a lot more glue because it'll soak into whatever you're doing. And you have to get enough glue on there for it to work on fabric, but it will work. Or you can leave it for a while and it definitely will work. You just have to be patient. And I'm not always that patient and it's not great when you're doing a video. You know what I mean? So, okay, we have now given it a pocket. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute, but you will see, see, we've got a pocket here. So that's yummy. Um, I'm not sure if I like that color. Jeez, okay, now that I did it, I don't know that I like it. No, I don't like the green. And I think the pink that I have is too vibrant. Yep. I've been, you can tell I've been embossing like a crazy woman. Yep, I was embossing this morning as I was cleaning up my embossing and packing it up to be packed. But I was playing with my new, um, which is where this came from, my new embosser. I, I even did, oh yeah, I did a rose one. Wasn't that pretty? Did I do any brown? No, I think I did some white pieces. Oh yeah. Oh, I did a um, paper towel roll. Is that cool or what? Yeah, these are paper towel rolls. And I embossed these. Did they come out cool or what? I love them. Ink them up, add some, some pretties, and you are ready to go. Oh, I bought, we bought these really cheap paper towels at our grocery store to uh, put between my dishes and my glasses and stuff as I'm packing all my china. And as I went through each roll of this stuff, because I went through probably about six or eight rolls, we oh, got to the bottom and it was white. So all the paper towel rolls on the cheap white stuff, on the cheap paper towels, inexpensive paper towels, were white. And this is our regular one, but both are cool. You can use them to make pockets, nice tall pockets or tags. So toilet paper rolls work very well. So I use my new embossing folder. Um, I have some vintage cardstock that I use this on. So that was nice white cardstock that came out pretty. So I'm in love with my new embossing folder. Yikes. Oh. Emboss, emboss, emboss. I have lots to play with so I can do them on everything. So this time I'm using embossing instead of the, the paste. So you get two different looks. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Love it. Okay. It's not even going to stick. You know, I have my doubts, you guys. I think I'm going to pull out my art glitter glue. I bet you it sticks better. Yep. My fabric tack is not working on this baking paper. But I know the art glitter glue works on vellum, so I'm pretty sure it will work on here. I'll have to check it later when everything's dry and see if it popped up again. Well, this is time consuming, isn't it? Yeah, it did not work. Let me see. Jeez. There we go. Let's start over. I <laughs> should have just used this the first time. What was I thinking? Well, the fabric tech works on fabric. Why wouldn't it work on this? Because this is stick resistant. So, and that fabric tech is sticky. Well, if you don't see this on here, I had to take it off and do something else. So, you know, what are you going to do? Now, the next thing you want to do is I want to add a word or a phrase um, like I did here. I want to add something. Now, I am working with two fun kits and I'll tell you what they are. I'm These are new to me. The um, tag that I used here is from Pixie Dust Files on Etsy, okay? So she has a, just tons of cool digitals, if you're a digital girl. If, oh, and my new papers that I'm working with are from By Boho Love, B-Y 
B-O-H-O Love by Boho Love on Etsy. And oh, there are some yummy, gorgeous papers over there. So another place to go. All right. So anyway, I'm going to be using some words from this one for this. Uh, I'm thinking I want to use this crown on one of them. I think it's not going to be, I think it's going to be this one over here. So what have I got to work with over here? Oh, ooh, that's pretty. That might take up a big space. Let's see. Let's cut it down and see what we got. Uh, yeah, Pixie Dust Files on Etsy. I bought one of her little um, tag kits, tag and word kits that she just has been having out. And I keep seeing it on Instagram. So I went and looked at it fell in love. I'm, I want to see if there's a, an actual digital journal kit. That would be great. So I'm hoping there is. I don't know if I like the color. Let's see if we if we were to ink her up, if I like it better. It's a little too bright and white, you know. I want a little different color, but I, I want contrast, but I don't want that much contrast. I'm thinking I might put it right. I like the words on here, so I don't want to cover up a lot. I like all the writing, so I'm not really wanting to cover too much up. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Mm, what else have I got? What else do I have to play with? Okay, so let's see. These are some little mini tags that she had. But what I would do is maybe cut off the top so it doesn't look like a tag. But then I would be cutting off the word create. Or what it, whatever it says on there. I could. Let me try something. What are you guys up to? Anything new? Exciting? Trips? Work? What's happening? You know what's happening in my world. You know all about it. I know I've lost some people because they don't like the chat part. They just want straight crafting and that's it. Not one single thing other. But then there's a bunch of you, a whole bunch of you who watch me because you like the fact that I chat with you. So, and you want to know what's going on and hear stuff. So I don't know, you know, you never know what to do for people. I was thinking maybe I could do like something. I want to do a little layering is what I'm trying to do. Maybe I need to do that down there. I'm thinking that might be a good place for that. And that there, maybe? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I have a lovely tag, but that's too big for that right there. Um, I like this. So I'll put some lace right there, I think, would help. Well, maybe something with this. I just don't know what yet. Oh, let's see. What exciting lace. I had to, uh, my lace pile has been growing so big next to my desk, you guys. It's crazy. I have so much lace. Just mostly bits, but still. Oh my gosh, it's nuts. So I had to get some more. I, I, I'll show you guys something. I put them in these little, uh, I get these at Target. They're in the bathroom department. And they're for soap and I don't know, what you, whatever you keep on your counter. So this is what I'm keeping a lot of my little uh, bits of lace that are bigger, but they're not giant. You know what I mean? This one, I need to actually wrap these on a card or something, I think. See, and then I did this for these that are, you know, stand up. And um, I have this for all the little itty bitties. So this is all sitting next to me here on my desk. And it's like crazy. But I'll have to take a picture of my desk before... I, unpa I pack it because I won't remember where stuff goes and then I'll be all frustrated because nothing works right, right? So can't have that. I'm actually going to go ahead and round these corners on this one while I'm thinking about it because I'm going to use it on the next one. Sometimes I work on two at a time. Then I go back and finish them both, but you know, I'll try to finish this one just for our, whoops, we don't need that. That's going to go back in that lace box. I just want to find one that would look good on the bottom here. 
I like that kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Mm, that'd be pretty in there. Oh, that would be pretty in there. Kind of picks up all the pinks, right? Um, if I don't do that one, I'm looking to see what other lace I have, you guys. Ooh, would pink be pretty on the bottom of this with the cream? I love pink and cream together. Oh, ooh, I like that. I think I like it better than this one. Yes, this is shabby, but mm, let me see. Let's see what we got. That's pretty good. I like that though. And then put that over there. Do I pick up the pink or do I leave it neutral? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's really late in the day. I mean, very late in the day. I had to find a time when the guys were not using the nail gun on the uh, baseboard trim. So I had to wait till very late in the day to do my video for you all. I can't tell what the top and the bottom is, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it looks like that's the top kind of blah, but it's pink, so I don't know. Guess not. Maybe there'll be something else I'll put it on. Maybe one of the tags. I think I'm going to use this because this is yummy, and I know I don't have a lot of it, so I'm using it. I'm hoarding it, really. I'm using it very, very, very sparingly. Very sparingly. Okay. I just had the pin here. You guys saw it. Oh, I put it up here. I know better. You know, I have a... Uh, pin cushion sitting on my desk just for this reason. <laughs> so my work table, it's not really a desk. It's a table. It was a dining room table. I bought my son many years ago when we had a business together and he needed a table for his apartment. Then when he got married, he had it for a little while, but then they decided, he and his wife decided it wasn't their style anymore. So they were going to get rid of it. And I said, uh, no, you won't. I'll take it. I had told him when I bought it for him because it was really pricey, a solid wood. I said, um, if you decide you don't want this, I want it back. I'm going to buy it for you, but it's very pricey. And he was really young. So, you know, I was like, mm, I'm going to, but his wife didn't care for it. So, I mean, they used it for a little bit, but then they decided they didn't want it anymore. And when they left California, I said, I will take it. So they didn't want it. They were going to sell it. And I said, oh, no, you're not. Remember the deal? He's like, oh, yeah, Mom, sorry, I forgot. So it's been sitting in storage waiting for a home. It's really badly beat up from so many moves and uh, kids that I said, gosh, I'm never, I can't really repair this. I, I'd have to do a lot of sanding and then re and paint it because I just, the finish is damaged beyond, has coffee rings and milk rings and dog chewing on the, t the table legs and they had a dog and a puppy that ate the table legs oh boy so I said well um I was getting this room set up and I thought what could I do what could I do in here for a um oh my goodness what could I do for a table leg I mean for a work table uh I was using a big desk but the desk wasn't big enough it just wasn't it looks like my little goodie fell off here. I may have to go get some hot glue and put it back on with that. We'll see if the fabric tack will work. Whoopsie. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so I ended up taking it and putting it in here. <laughs> Long story short. Jeez Louise, I went all the way around the moon for that one, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Tired, had a migraine today, but I want to craft. Oh my gosh, I need to craft. I need, need, need to. I just need to. I just, it's like breathing for me. I am not happy if I'm not crafting. I am so out of sorts and so grumpy if I do not craft, you guys. It's amazing how grumpy I get. It's like breathing for me. I just need it. I need, need, need it. I, I, I just have to craft. I've been this way my whole life. So... I just realized that that fabric tack was not going to work on here. So we're, I'm hoping that this will work. If it doesn't, then I give up. I'll have to pull off the pocket and do something else. Don't know if that fabric is going to sit there. We're going to see. I'm using my hand to warm it up. Use your hands to dry your glue quicker, by the way. If your hands are warm, which mine are very warm from pa uh, unpacking today. <laughs> I went from packing to unpacking. Then I'll be packing again. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
well, I won't get bored. Um, so my hands are warm. So what it does is the heat of your hands will dry your glue quicker. So if you're in a hurry and you're warm, which I am, we're using that to dry everything. I'll go back and check it in a bit, okay? Now, I want something with this. I am thinking a piece of lace, maybe. What do you think? I think I need something right here. So, of course, I have lots of lace by me. Not an issue. I just have to find the right one. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want white. I do think it needs to be a creamy color. Uh, I have a little bit of this left. I really like this lace. It's very unique. It, this is all vintage lace, by the way. Oh, I like that. And then if I put that on there, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. It's too white. What if I, what if I mess it up? Well, it's ager. Sorry, my friend, I'm aging you. You're too white for me. Too bright. Too light and bright. That's it. Too, it's not white. It's too light and bright is what the problem is. I don't mind the white. It's just light and bright, and I need it to be a little more grungy. All right, I love that. Let's do that. That looks pretty, right? I never want mine to be two of the same tags anyway. I like them to be a bit different, a bit unique. Let's go like this. Let's see. Oh, good. I have a half hour. I'm sure I'll get both of these done. And maybe even end a little bit early. I want you to have a Friday video, so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend coming up. I know we are going to rest. I hope, maybe. Well, depends what happens with the plumbing. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. It's holding. We don't get a plumber out till Monday. We called them on a Tuesday, and we don't get them for a, for a whole week. Can you believe it? They said they'll call if they get a cancellation, which they won't. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. I wasn't going to be able to talk anymore. <clears throat> I feel my throat close up. All the dust. <laughs> All the dust and the sawdust and all the good stuff. Let's see, what have I got here? I'm trying to find my top side. I don't know. Sometimes I can see it really easy. And other days, if I'm a little bit tired, forget it. It ain't happening. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'd like us to go to a movie, but we wanted to see Top Gun. We never made it. I'm hoping we do. If not, maybe we'll go see Thor. There's also a new movie I want to go see. I'm like, Mrs. Something Goes to Paris. I can't think of her name. But I've seen like a million commercials for it, and I really want to go see it. I'm trying to decide whether I want to move this more to the... There we go, like that. Mrs... Oh, I can't think of the name, but it's, it looks adorable. It's kind of a pretty woman versus Prada versus I don't know what else. Mrs. Maple. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a really cute movie. And um, she wants a designer dress. And so she goes, she saves all, she takes all of her money. Her husband passes away in the military, in the army. And she takes her money and goes to Paris. And she wants to buy this dress. And of course, they're mean to her. Just like pretty women. Only this is an English lady. So we'll see. I would like very much to see it. I'm hoping to get to see that. I don't know when it comes out. The 15th, maybe? Maybe it's this weekend. Yeah, I like that. I think. I think I like that. I think I like that. I don't know. Something's bothering me. What do you think, guys? I'm, I'm struggling with this. Maybe it's not big enough, or I don't know. I need Maybe I need more stuff behind it. Let's see what I've got. Oh, I do have the snippets that I've been using a lot of lately. If you're watching me, you know that I'm using these um, from, one's from Ruby and Pearl, and one is from Sam Poole. Now, Ruby and Pearl, she had some pretty floral ones here. And as you know, I like to keep my words and things like this um, on here so I can see colors. So that I can go like this and hold it up and say, oh, that would look good, or that would look good, or that would look good. You know, I want to see what might look nice with it. Um, I actually saw a couple here that I thought, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That I thought might look nice.
Well, let's see. I'm actually going to pull these three. Oh, I actually see some in here that might look nice. Ho ho. Ho ho ho. There we go. I need to build a little. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to create a little. I need a little layering. You know me, I'm not happy unless I've got some layering going. I love, love, love to layer. And I feel like it needs another color. Oh, I cut those for no reason because I like this over here. Let's see what we get. These are the ruby and pearl right here. Ooh, my whole room just shook. I don't think it was an earthquake. There was a big wind, though. Goodness gracious. Oh, it could have been an earthquake. We do get them here a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We get a lot of earthquakes here daily. We don't feel them all because we tend to just ignore them. But if I'm sitting still and quiet, I feel them. I don't know that that was one. I'd have to look it up. But I think it's just the wind shifting things around. I like that. I think, I think I like that. Let me see what else. Okay. Well, my son-in-law had his first radiation treatment on his head and face. So fingers crossed that that went well and it continues to go well. He doesn't have any weird side effects from it because there's a danger of it that could cause swelling and keep him from swallowing. So we need to make sure that's gonna be okay. And that's the latest on him and that's as much as I'll say. I know people are, don't wanna hear about it, so. But it is my life right now, and it's going to really be my life soon if it, when things are get worse. So, I'm going to go like this. Well, the other option is if you don't like that I chit chat, is dead silence. So, I guess it's up to you guys what do you like. You know, I, I already know my regulars want to hear what I have to say, but I know new people come along and they don't like it. So that's okay. Even if my channel never ever grows, I don't care. I'm going to make those of you who watch me all the time happy. So those of you who are my regulars, who watch, and who are so loyal, you never leave me no matter what's happening. Um, I, You mean the world to me. You really do. I truly care for and care about each and every one of you, so. And I'm trying to figure out where this one's gonna go now because I moved that. I didn't put it back in the same place. Ah, darn it. I'm gonna go put it there. You wanna stair step them. You never want them to be right on top of each other. How did I get glue on that? Oh my goodness. Well, usually I can say that Fabric tack will rub off. You just have to be careful you don't rub off your paper. You know, put a hole in your paper. I have done that. I'm trying to get it off. There. That's pretty. I like that. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. I feel like it needs something up here, though. It needs some lace or some applique or some something. I think it's a little too blah. I also do not like the square corners. You know how I am. I know it's going to go on a page, but I cannot handle the square corners. It's, it's the thing that was bothering me about the other one, too. I just didn't like the, the corners on it. Mm, I get an enamel. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I was watching Julie on Camilla Crafts. I think it's Camilla Crafts. Camilla? Yes. Camilla Crafting? Crafts. Oh, Julie. Anyway, I was watching her channel and she was doing a um, review of the new midi 
um, embossing machine. So I took my birthday's coming right up in August. So I told my husband, because uh, Amazon was having their special things and I didn't know if we could get a deal on it. I said, honey, um, you know, I really want one of these. Would you see if Amazon has a sale? Well, they didn't, but he ordered it for me anyway because it sticks to the desk. I'll do a review on it when I get it. It sticks to the desk. It's small, compact. It's not like our big, big shop, but it is six inches wide. It'll take a six inch to smaller. And it doesn't have all the hard things. It has small little um, folders. So we'll see how it is. But yeah, um, he bought that and the folders for me for my birthday as an early birthday present. So um, I, it was supposed to come today. I think it's today today or tomorrow, so I'm super duper excited. I don't think I'm use that. I just making it smaller to put in this little envelope. And these are CD, for those of you who don't know, these are CD holders, I get them on Amazon. I just put in clear CD, clear CD, plastic, clear CD holders. And I get like, I don't know, 100 of them. And so this is what I put a lot of my bits and pieces in when I'm working with them. So they're not running around on my desk, lost. And then I just, you know, do that. So anyway, I'm getting one. I am so excited. I love the review that she did on it. And so Camilla Crafts, yes, that's correct. Um, so I bought one. So come, it's your fault, Julie. <laughs> I bought one, shame on you. You enabled me, naughty girl, naughty girl. But I'm excited, so I can't wait for it to arrive. I think it's today or tomorrow it comes in. And then I ordered something else for me. Sorry, I have the hiccups. But great. Um, oh, my paper, which none of it was on sale. None of it. I waited and waited, and all my linen paper was not on sale. And I was bummed, and I ordered something else I needed. I was waiting and waiting, and I thought, well, that was dumb. I should have just ordered them because... <laughs> They didn't, they didn't have a deal. It's just on big stuff. We got a Roomba. We've never had one. Um, but we need one for our new floors because of the cats. It's crazy how much mess they make. So I'm looking for a number. I want to put a number on here. So we got a few. Th that was on sale. We got a killer deal on that Roomba. And then we were looking into which, which we have one more day. Today is the last day of Amazon Prime, which is... Today is Wednesday the 13th, I think. And so, but I'm making this video for you. And um, it was the last day of the Amazon Prime deals. And so, you have to be a Prime member. We got our Roomba, but we're looking into the Ring doorbell. Because you guys know we've had issues with mail and theft and stuff. So, we're looking into that. So, we're going to see if we can get one of those on sale. That's exciting. Yeah, they're having a huge sale, 40% off on a Ring. Yay! Doorbell. And I'm not affiliated with any of these companies whatsoever, so I'm not pushing anything. Absolutely not. Just let you know. We're just updating our whole lives. We just, you know, we're typical older folks who, oh, we don't need that. Oh, we don't need that. And then suddenly we do need that, you know, so. Got to get with the times. Hey, my big sister, who's a lot older than I am. We won't say how much because she's going to be mad. Anyway, um, older than I am, got one, and I thought, well, geez, if she can, I can. So, she loves her ring doorbell. She said she could check her video camera to see if she got the flowers I sent her, you know. And so, I thought, really? That's so cool. So, I've been wanting to do it because I was home, home a lot, and I never knew who was at the door. And this way, we don't have to answer the door to anybody that we don't want to. So, that's my big deal. And then, of course, for theft possibilities, you want to make sure you're going to be your stuff is safe on your porch since I get so many deliveries and people know it. So, why am I chatty Kathy today? I'm surprised, as tired as I am. It's because my migraine meds were working for a change. <laughs> so, I'm actually able to craft. I am tired though because it makes me sleepy. But that's okay. When I'm done here, I will take a nap. For real. Well, it looks like that's going to hold, you guys. 
I don't know, it needs something. It's missing something, absolutely missing something, you guys. And what is it missing? Oh, let's see, what do we have in the scrap box that we could maybe put on the top of that? Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. What do I have? It's something with an edge. Hmm. Well, that's pretty. Or maybe we could put it over that. That's everything on one side, though. I don't like that. I want to balance it out over here. Yeah, I like that. I'm not sure why, but I do. I do, I do. But you know what? Maybe I'll turn it this way. Why don't we be different? Lace up or lace down? Because I'll trim the corner to match the card. Lace down. Pop some pearls on there. I'll be a happy girl. Yep. Yep or pupper. I'll be a happy bunny. Julie always says that. I love that. She has the best sayings ever. I love her. <laughs> I love what she says. She's so fun. One of my favorite gals to watch when I have time. I don't have a lot of time to watch videos lately, but when I do, I try to watch if she's got a new video. There's a few out there that I try to watch if I can get five minutes to myself to watch it. No one needs bugging me. No cat, no hubby. Oh, the cats get so funny. Misty gets really mad if I turn on a video. Oh my goodness, that girl does not like it. She got mad the other night. She's on my lap. We're all lovey and relaxed and enjoying each other, cuddling, because I really needed it. And then my daughter texts me because she's coming in from San Francisco, driving in. And I said, well, if you're tired, you know, text me and we'll chat. Well, Misty got mad and got up and left in a huff. Why was she mad? She did not like that I took my time away from her to talk to my daughter. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. She's like, Mama, this is our time, and you are interrupting me. Oh, I put Toby on steroids. We'll see how he's going to do. He's my old kitty. He's my 14-year-old boy who's been sick. So my husband, I haven't been out to cuddle him and give him his face wash because I wash his face every day and his eyes and his nose because he's got all this infection going on. We think it's infection or allergies. We don't know. Anyway, I haven't been out to do that yet today. My husband said, though, every time he's gone out the door, he's come running up to him, meowing and talking to him and ate good. And so maybe the steroids are working. Fingers crossed. Kind of stopped eating. Just he's been miserable lately. Just not a happy kitty. Well, I think I like that. I still feel like it needs something up there. Oh my goodness, you guys, what do I need? What do I, I need a flower or something. Excuse me, I'm gonna get up here. Pardon me, excuse me. No, that's too much, that's overkill. No, 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 no. Hmm. Let me see. These beautiful flowers are by Claudia at Timeless Crochet for You. She's had some gorgeous flowers and things in her shop, but man, they sell out immediately. So if you're not on it, you aren't going to get it. You know what I mean? I've had these for quite some time. I have a stash of these. I kept buying them every time she put them up. Because I knew there would come a point where, you know, you weren't going to be able to get, oh, I like that. You weren't going to be able to get these anymore. So she would run out and she no longer has the ones with the lace appliques on them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a pearl in the middle of that, I think. Let me... Actually, I want, this one has, well, should have some, oh, not sponge sugar. No, 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 no. Where did my, oh, there it is. That's the wrong one. This is uh, Victorian Velvet. It's one of my favorites. It's sort of got the pink tone. Not sort of, it is very 
sort of pinky, mauvey, maroon, dark color, lovely color. And then, I'm really not sure what I think of this one. This is not my favorite. I'm going to be honest. I am can't say I love this one. I was so excited about it, and I'm, I'm not liking it. I don't know what's bugging me about it. Do I not want the tail? Maybe it's the tail. Oh, boy, if I cut that off and I'm wrong. Yeah, but it's the tail. So I'll use that on something else. I mean, I never, you know, I never waste anything. I use every bit of my appliques and things that I have. I will need the Fabri-Tac because we're gluing onto lace. That's helping the corner a little bit, but it's not the flower that I didn't like. It really isn't. Uh, the tail wasn't perfect, but um, I don't know. There's something just missing here for me. I cannot tell you what it is. It's driving me nuts. I don't know. Let's get a big pearl on there. Let me see. What have I got here? Do I have any big? Yeah, I've got big pearls here. What time is it? Oh, I'm running out of time, you guys. Well, I'm only going to get one done. Here, I thought I was going to just have so much done today. <laughs> Every time, right, you guys? Every single time. I always think I'm going to do way more. Oh, ooh, before, well, when I finish this, I forgot to show you guys what I made the other day, right? I finished those um, three hidden pockets. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me finish this gluing, and then we'll... we'll uh, let me get this on here and then we will. Sorry, I'm looking for my pokey tool. I'm going to put a pearl in the middle of this. I like this and it's pretty, but I want to add one more thing to it. You know what I mean? I am not happy unless I have a pearl. Oop. <laughs> Glue strings. Yeah, I needed a pearl in the middle. See, and then that looks even prettier. Good. Between Claudia and I, we nailed it. All right, hello, Claudia. I know you do watch. Hi, sweetie. Hope you're doing well. Which is a wonderful shop. Timeless crochet for you on Etsy. She has lovely digitals as well as she makes the most beautiful flowers. So, sorry guys, I need some more pearls. I know that's what's missing. I know it as sure as I know my name. I'm going to check my time in just a second to see where I'm at. These are like super duper sticky. Like it takes everything I have to get it off my fingers, right? <laughs> so that is our... here so you guys don't aren't that's goes like this one and I was thinking that one of these lovely things that I've already made and cut out I can find them in this mess I just created over here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I like that one I've already backed it I might decorate a little bit but isn't that cute so you can put a card or whatever you want in there to go with it the saying is, there is always something to be thankful for. One of my favorites. And I stamp this on vintage book page or uh, linen paper, you know. So I try to put it on something really unique or unusual when I stamp it. So I'll probably put, a, I'll decorate this a little bit. Maybe put a little something right there. I don't know what a word or something or a number or phrase or something. But anyway, that's today's project. Isn't it fabulous? Let me look and see where we're at. All right, we've got a couple minutes, so I do have time to show you the hidden pockets that um, we worked on the other day, the last video. Here they are, all done. Aren't those pretty? They have all their um, fronts are done, the words are done, they have their ribbon on. Um, you know, you, you open them up and you have lovely writing space back inside and bottom what a great way to write a nice journaling 
page. You know, if you have a had a great day or you want to write something that's really important and you don't want anybody else seeing it, but it also has this lovely hidden pocket on the side. And um, I put a journaling card in there. Okay, and these this card here is by um, My Porch Prints. And then it's a combination of ruby and pearl and um, sample. So there's that one. Here's this one. I love this. is my favorite, I think, out of all of them. And it has a lovely journaling card in it. I think it just has the one, doesn't it? No, I have two in here. Oh, I forgot about that other one. Forgot to even put that in there. Huh. I think I was going to use that on the cover of one of them. I'll put that aside because I, I don't want to put that in there. So there you go. So this one's made exactly the same way. You open it up. It just has a little flap. And you have your back. And there you go. And then there's that one. And then I have a nice thick card. Again, that's my porch prints. I love her. I've got tons and tons of hers. <laughs> I have so many of her digitals. It's crazy. I'm starting to use up my stuff. I've got to start using my digitals because they are just piling up, piling up, piling up. And then this was my original one, which you guys saw, and that these were the um, the goodies that went inside this one. And this has a little envelope, and then you open it up, and it had a little tag in it. Lots of stuff to write on, and that has a little lap. And there you are, and that went inside here. So, and it opens the same way, you know, for writing. So, these were the hidden pockets I told you if, for you if you're new that if I don't finish something in a video, in the very next video, I will show you what I did the, the video before so you can catch up. And if you missed the video, you can go watch it knowing it was the video before this one, really easy to find on my channel. So, there were the hidden pockets, and there are the page. I don't know what we're going to call those. <laughs> Page fillers. We'll call them page fillers. Journal page fillers. You just pop one of those on your journal. And I mean, it just makes a beautiful page. I mean, look at this. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. See, you just glue it right on. You have a pocket. You turn your page and you're ready to go. Isn't that great? Or you pre-glue it on and then when you stitch it in, it's, it's done. So they're pre-made so that you can build your stash and have these wonderful things. And you don't even have to put the pocket in. You could glue it down, do whatever you like. I, I didn't put paper on the back of this one because um, this was an okay book. I wasn't worried about it. Yeah, it was about Indian dialect or something uh, in California about a famous Indian woman. So anyway, uh, there you have it. So I wanna thank you guys for coming along and watching with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.